Hi, thanks for joining me. I've done a lot of work since our last video because I wanted to speed up the process for you and show you some of the things so we could get to the armrest. So here's what we've done. We have put the binding around the back side. I did that this morning and I thought this would take, oh, maybe about 45 minutes, it took over two hours. I don't do binding very well, I'm not sure why that is. And I'll show you some of the results of that in just a moment. But first, what do you say we spin that intro? Hi, welcome back. I'm Monty McKinnon and I'm delighted that you're here today. Today we're going to update you on where we're at with the guitar and start carving the armrest. And as you can see, the back binding is on. I have scraped it all down and I have scraped down a lot of the top. It's pretty dirty, but we'll clean that all up. And I have started the armrest and you can see that in here. So what we're gonna do is set this into the vise and get this all set to do what we need to do to make it into an armrest, which is right in here. Now, the first thing I did just a few minutes ago before we, we actually started up the cameras is I took these scrapers, are all sharpened, and they're all ready to go. And, and as you'll see, they're giving me nice shavings and they're nice and smooth. This is the top part. Now, down in here, and I just shaved off a little bit of it. I'll take my pencil here and draw a line here just to give me a bit of a guide as to where I'm going here. And this is what we're doing. We're shaving this down and it's gonna run into the top piece of binding that runs around the top of the guitar. So it's, it's all good and it's easy to do. So you just simply take your scraper, the grain is running this way at this side and it's running this way down here. So you're going one direction on the one side and then you're going the other direction on the other side. So what do you say we start a little bit at the top here. And I want to carry this on. I want that. Actually, I'm going to put these magnifiers on because I want to. I only do a little bit at a time coming this way because I don't want to overdo it. And then I switch and I come to this side. I'm not sure you can see this. You might from the top, here's the cross bracing that is coming on the angle across here and, and tying in here very nicely. What is eventually going to happen here, I don't know where it is, it's, it's not handy to me right now, I would show it to you if it was, is the veneer is going to fit in here. can do a, use a, a hand plane with this. Actually, I started this process with the hand plane. Okay, got lots more we can come down here.
where the binding didn't come down. This had to do with when I was routing for this and the router, remember that video where I showed you that the router broke and the bit and all that? You should go back and take a look at that. But some of that dug in and caused a few problems along here. Fortunately, those are things that we can fix. If it wasn't, I'd be a little concerned. Now one of the things that we need to know when we're carving this is this needs to be absolutely flat before we put the veneer on. It has to be perfect. And to do that, I actually use a razor blade and I look for daylight to make sure that we've got that thing totally and perfectly flat with the razor. So you'll see us use that in a few minutes. But for now, what do you say I carry on with this? and we'll uh, come back in the next video and show you that. Now before you leave, I just want you to see here, I still have marked where we're perhaps going to put a sound port. I have it reinforced that if we want to do a sound port, I can do it. So what do you think? I'd like you to let me know in the comments below whether you think we should put a hole in here and do the sound port so that the sound comes up like you've seen in some of the other guitars that I've made. Um, we don't have to, we can just carry on going like this. So by all means, would you please comment and let me know. There are links down below. We will be having a tea with Monty. It will be coming up probably in the next video. I've got some really, really good questions. And uh, one even has to do with using crazy glue and super glue. And you know who I'm talking to right now, somebody who spilt a bottle. <laughs> And that's a pretty funny story, so I'm going to read you that story in the next video. So thanks for joining me. Uh, do check out the links. Let's subscribe if you haven't already. Pass the video on to whoever. Don't forget to read the community section, and we'll see you in the next video. In the meantime, it's time for English breakfast. Oh, this tastes very good today. Our next cup of tea is probably going to be Yorkshire Gold really good stuff. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Hmm. Oh, this is so good. Really good.